So, I'm gonna go get some more water. I'm gonna put on one of those ads. A, uh, a uh, little ad thingy so we can not scare people away when they come in and get those things. So, I'll be back in about 90 seconds. Gonna turn on some music in the meantime. And we're back. More water. That was a little bit more than 90 seconds, but hey. So, let's uh, see Manfred von Karma. Wow, a candy castle. And over there, there are some fairies over there. This room seems to be structured in the same way as the master's room. But it's nowhere near as cold. This room also seems to be fitted with a temperature control panel. Ah, it's over by that open orange lab, Bright. MG, let us not forget to investigate it later. Even so, this room is something like out of a fairy tale. Is this cream covered castle Delicia's work? Where is Delicia? Oi! Can I help you? Hello, boys! I'm Delicia Scores. In my native in. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> Do any access to one? She is not allowed. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, I can't do a English accent. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, Pix, but I'm gonna make a wholehearted effort to try. But I don't think I can. You're not sorry? <laughs> <laughs> In my native England, I'm known as Miss Delicious. Being cool a boy, even though I'm already 34. It's certainly a rare experience. Boys, I understand you're calling me that, but Miss Edgeworth. As far as I'm concerned, you're all boys to me, even that detective over there. My name is Bad, not Boy. Just how, how old is this woman? We should return. Let's just finish our business here. Hmm, right. Objection. You, what do you think you're doing? Conversing with a mere attorney. Oh my god, here we go. Edgeworth, a scary man came out of the candy castle. From karma. Nah, this man is prosecuted from karma. No, oh, Manny! Oh my god. So, he is from karma. Pleased to meet you, prosecutor from karma. My name is Gregory Edgeworth. Defense attorney. <laughs> I have no interest in the names of the defense attorneys. After all, they only exist to be crushed by me. What a rude man. And that piercing gaze and furrowed brow. Ugh, he is even scarier than the rumors say. Yeah, welcome to 2001. 50. 18 years before where we are right now, so yeah, uh, we're about to witness the events 
leading up to the DL6 incident. Although that statement was also very rude. Prosecutor von Karma, would you allow us to investigate too? <laughs> you think I would give information to a mere defense attorney? As I thought, it won't be that simple. <laughs> However, I'll make a special exception for this rule. Why did it change his mind so quickly? Phew! Old Bloodhound. Jump call me that. My name is Bat. Ha! <laughs> a mere detective speaking back to me. I admire your courage at least. Bat! Stand and watch you see if they don't misbehave. I would like to accept your refusal. Well, I'll be investigating the uh, Gustavo's room next. So I am very offended in that Great Revival Miles Edgeworth is used as a theme for Manfred von Karma. I am very, very, very offended by that. Manfred von Karma does not deserve such an awesome um, th like introductionary song like that. He doesn't. Tch, I'm babysitting again. I wonder why he and von Karma aren't investigating together. Instead of being on bad terms, it seems like they hardly know each other. Mr. Edgeworth, and we will get von Karma's permission. We can continue the invest investigating. Yes, his manner bothers me, but I'm glad we can at least continue the investigation. Hold it. I also need to investigate this room. I won't want you disturbing the room. So, you'll investigate after me. What? Aren't you the detective in charge of this case? Why haven't you investigated this room yet? The detective in charge of this initial investigation was a close colleague of one car. Oh, that is, uh, I came to take over, so I only got to the mansion recently. So, that is why he and Von Karma aren't investigating together. Detective Bat, will you allow us to investigate with you like before? In doing so, you'll be able to supervise us and ensure we don't tamper with anything. True. She will be to watch you. You're a strange lawyer. True. I'll let you stick around. Yay, you did it, Miss Redgeworth. Thank you, Detective Bad. But if I decide you're holding up the investigation, you'll have to leave. Yes, I understand. Well then, let us begin the investigation. Okay, uh, let's talk to the lady over here first. You don't seem to as energetic as you were earlier. Delicia, can I just ask something? Did something happen with with Monvon Karma? Yes, see, nothing of the sort. What you just said, yes, see. Ah, that's yes, see. Just now was only a greeting. Oh, you're a cute boy. I like you. What's your first name? Oh, it's Raymond, boy. Well, Ray, Ray. I think you'll make a good man of yourself someday. Ray Ray. How about that? I think you have the way with the British ladies. She's a little different from my imagery of a lady. Why don't you let's have a listen to what she has to say? Could you tell me about your actions during the contest? Yes, see. We began making desserts for a con the contest around 10 o'clock. Basically, I was in here making my desserts for the whole time. At the time, at half past one, I joined the afternoon tea for about half an hour or so. An afternoon tea? It's a social occasion where conversation is had over black tea and cakes. Hmm. So it's pretty much a tea party. Well, I suppose. Haha, <laughs> Greggy, you're a smart boy, aren't you? When did I become Greggy? 
Where was the afternoon tea held? It took place in the gardens outside the fountain patio. It's our customary break time during the contest and it's always held at the same time. Wait, how did your... What? What did your mom do? I hope she's okay. I guess she is, considering you're laughing about it, but why? What's up, Moina? Today there was just three of us who took part. Jeffy, Kate and me. Since Jeffy had already finished his creations, he was there from beginning to end. I seen Gusty didn't join in because they hadn't finished the desserts yet. So, everyone other than Mr. Dover and Gustavia participated. Yes, actually, I hadn't finished my dessert yet either. I just wanted to try some of Jesse's handmade pastries and Katie's fresh fruit tea. So after I'd eaten my fill, I returned before everyone else. Huh? Lupus Berea's posse. Okay. Uh, what do you say? We found your fingerprints and desserts at the crime scene. Woof! We found them! Are you admitting that you're into the scene of the murder? Ah, okay. Oh, I admit it, but I'm not the murderer. It's all the truth, please hear me out. What were you doing in Mr. Master's room? The truth is, I was studying his desserts. Studying? Because Jeff is so talented at making sweets. Well, nobody was in his, his room at the, same, at the time, so I decided to study his works for a bit. I just changed the way she speaks. Oh well. But if you were looking, you would not have left your fingerprints behind. You see, it's only natural that I left the fingerprints in the desserts. For the sake of research, I ate. For the sake of research, I ate some of the desserts. Yeah, it's not like stealing food. It couldn't be. The ones who wrecked Mr. Master's room was. Oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't my intention to vandalize the room, but. I did eat a few party desserts in this room. I simply ate a little bits and pieces of Je so Jeffy wouldn't find out. So, did you eat the ship stem as well? You see, I did. Chocolate chip broke because of you. Oh, I I'm sorry. So, the reason she left the afternoon tea early was to preserve her appetite. But... You got to believe... You got to believe me? On this? I'm not the murderer. Okay, I, I just can't figure out... I can't figure out how to... I need to sit in uh, voice chat with uh, British people more often. So I can get a whole like get my get get more into the British accent. <laughs> yeah, accents are hard. Uh, check Discord. Uh. Oh, okay. So. Uh... Oh, noise pollution! Wow! Wait a minute! Wait! Wait! Is your mother... The one was playing the music, or...
Uh. <laughs> Rip. Oh my god. The, the notorious nuisance is that their sound system will be confiscated. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> Systemic noise pollution. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> That's wonderful! Oh my god! Her actions are sufficient, sufficient suspicious, but I won't press it on it yet. Oh my god, that is hilarious! Notorious noise polluter. Oh my god, that is hilarious. <laughs> There's a cover on the wall, just like Mr. Master's room. Let's open it up. Hmm, the room temperature is 68 Fahrenheit, and the light is set to green. Stavia said that 50... Fahrenheit is an ideal temperature for Festival 3. This room's temperature is too high. This is intriguing. Amazing castle is made entirely out of confection. I know, it's not a work of fantasy, it's like a fairy tale world. You like all this fairy tale stuff, don't you? Ah, uh, sorry, I got a bit too excited, didn't I? No, it's interesting to me since you're so enthusiastic about it, unlike my son. Your son? He is only in grade school, yet he prefers to read law books instead of fairy tales. I'm worried that he won't be able to make friends that he can talk to. Ah, oh, what an interesting kid. I like the music friend. <laughs> I think it will be an older brother to him. An older brother, huh? Well, we've got some growing up to do then. Yes, and that's why he has to continue we have to continue with the investigation. Um The castle doors are open. When someone opens the door, they should be remembered to close it afterwards. What is said the directly to the closet from Karma though? Uh-huh. Because there's some stuff inside. Hmm, let's see. Wait, I'll examine it. Stay out of the way. <laughs> this is this fresh cream melts too easily. Since I detected bad shoes got covered in cream. Why were these objects kept inside the candy castle? If there's anything I'll to investigate, you better speak up now. Two big, two big rocks are placed here. It's like a storage room. And yeah, the inside of the candy castle isn't supposed to be so dreamy. Hey, maybe there were all gemstones. Who knew there would be such treasures inside, hidden inside a castle? Seems not a careless the way to handle a treasure. Hmm? Looks like there's something underneath that rock, the rocks. Seems like a pedestal attached to the bottom of the rocks. Yeah, it is. Uh, <clears throat> um, I mean, I think it is more that Gregory doesn't know that Miles has befriended Phoenix and uh, and uh, Larry Butts. I mean, I don't blame Edgeworth. 
or Miles for not introducing Larry Butts to his father. I don't blame at all. Oh, no. Uh, I'm in the middle of something here. Two seconds. Of course, the pen is all for displaying the gems. Well, in any case, this is no ordinary object. There are rolls of blue cloth here. Looks like there are four of them in all, so total. They don't look like desserts. I don't know what the cloth is for. It almost seems like it was hidden here inside the castle. Also, the color of this cloth looks familiar somehow. Oh, really? The reason the fresh cream is so fragile is due to the temperature in this room. So, my shoe got creamed. Because the room temperature is set at 68 Fahrenheit. Speaking of which... When you opened the castle door, the doorknob didn't break. Yeah, it was stronger than I thought. Strong? A dessert? Detective Bat, could you have, clo have a closer look at the doorknob? Hmm. This is? It would seem that this doorknob isn't a dessert. It's just a doorknob. This castle and the fairies are just plastic molds coated in cream. Uh huh? And then this isn't a dessert phase at all. It would seem that just fake desserts covered in fresh cream. Recess, recess. <laughs> Looks like a pedestal, but it has nothing in it. A hexagonal recess, huh? But what would we put in there? Giant strawberry, but fish in the fresh cream. Detective, detective bands. I don't think hex strawberries are hexagonal. Just hoping. Man, I hope it's a banana. I think I prefer blueberries. Oh my god. I love it how uh, Gregory isn't taking it too, like, too seriously in that sense. <laughs> the, uh, the rock's pedestal has a similar shape to the recess on the castle's pillars. Perhaps the rock is meant to be placed on top of the pillars? Hmm, well, that's right, they're both hexagonal. I wonder why they're placed well, hidden inside a castle, though. The blue cloth and the rocks inside a castle. I wonder if they belong to Delicia. Delicia? Those things in a castle, what are they used for? <coughs> ah, 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 those! I'm afraid I can't tell you. Like when Karma is keeping her sight. Whoa! I've been found out! Do you get mad at me if I talk? Possibly just looking Karma. Just intend to be on being upfront with his information. 
no, it's such a shame. We finally figured out where the rocks are supposed to go. Could it be that you're interested in my goods? Nah, your goods? Those are the popularization more goods. <laughs> you mean the rocks in the clock? You see, that's right. You see, they're not actually rocks, but special lamps made up from rock salt. Wow, those are lamps. <laughs> it gets even more exciting. Because though this cloth is also has an amazing secret. <laughs> oh <laughs> poor Pix. Oh. As soon as we showed an interest in her girl, she got talkative. So look at them out. Come experience the therapy voice. Buddy! Could you put everything up? It's not bad, it's bad. Oh, so you won't do it. Is Paddy being a bad boy? Lammy. Are you done photographing this room? Yes, sir, I am. Then go help Delicia. Yes, sir, I'm on it. Oh, thanks. I knew you were a good boy underneath, buddy. Delicious! That was amazing! You even persuaded Mr. Detective Bat! Thanks a lot, buddy! And you two forensics? She even gave the forensics a nice a nickname. I think this is a way, way of show uh is a way of showing that she cares. What's so it's therapeutic about these things anyway? We don't have time for that now, buddy. The show's about to begin. Frenzies, finish in touches, please. Yes, ma'am. It's... Wow, it's all beautiful. It really is. I wish my son could have seen this. I am sorry. <laughs> like, it's so hard to keep that accent. So it's especially hard to keep that accent, in, like a more British English accent, when everyone around me has a uh, has a uh, like American, more Americanized accent. Oi! I told you so, right? The fourth fair. Okay. The four fairies and the curious candy castle is the theme of my work. It's so sparkly and cute, right? It seems like one of them is missing something. The truth is, I plan to unveil it during the contest. Well, I'm glad I got to show it to you boys. <laughs> but it doesn't look like the rock sun lamps are lighting up. Huh? I wonder why. I think I need to examine the rocks and the fairies again. Hey! How did we miss that while assembling this? Like, you know? The castle door is a beautiful cloth. I think this is the cloth that was in the castle. Entries are always beautiful. That's what we need to find things. <laughs> I'm drifting into Irish and that's some music. <laughs> See, I have no clue. That's the problem. I, like, I can't. No? <laughs> oh. I need to sit more like... 
I need to like think back and try to emulate like Sharp, Ben Sharp, uh, because he talks about tight pants. No, what? No, I can't. <laughs> uh, but. This is no time for Snyder Mops. Blood, right there. The funny thing is though, that, that many years ago, um, people thought I was British. <laughs> For some reason. Like on voice chat, uh, when I was playing World of Warcraft, when I was younger. People thought I was- like, so rather, the non-British people thought I was British. Of course, the guild's Brit. Um, uh, just, nah. She is not British. So of course, everyone from the Isles did know, but everyone else, like, comes from outside the Isles, thought I was British. Unlike the other fairies, this one doesn't have a fluorescent cloth. It's delicious, there's a light to leave one out. I don't like it either, but one fluorescent cloth and a machine... A, a machine has gone missing. You've lost a cloth? A machine? What sort of machine is it? Oi! Let me tell you. Each piece of fluorescent cloth is hooked up to one of these machines. The machine is called a rainbow light de device. Light is sent through the cable into the cloth, which is made of optic fibers. Just fiddle around with the settings a bit and it will turn into all sorts of colors. When it glows red, it's like a raging inferno. And when it glows blue, you can almost feel the glittering cool ice. It's powered by a long lasting battery uh, that rest is that's resistant to change in temperature. I'm not familiar with these kinds of devices. Hmm, Mr. Edwards, you say it's a machine that transmits light into a special cloth. I see. It's amazing what they come up with these days. So, one rainbow light device and one fluorescent cloth is missing. You see. That's about right. Wherever could they be? Just for some cloth. Are you ready to case? Candy Fair is sitting on a tree stump. The cloth in the back, along with the decorations, really give it a magical atmosphere. If I look at it, it's almost like a spell. When you look at it, it's almost like a spell mount. What we need to look for is the hidden truth of the real world. Don't be fooled by the fairies. Uh, okay, so now we have that out of the way.
There's a burner and some chemicals over here that were probably used to make desserts. What are these chemicals? The right of the label say... Number one, pound shot. And number nine, suffering. Are they poisons? No, they're both used to make desserts. Seems to be artificial flavoring and coloring. Pound shot is a catchy name for the fruit punch. Since... Very misleading. But bottles means is what suffering stands for. So, this is where Delicia originally attended to put the lamps. I don't know why I should put them in the castle. Since they're broken and don't light up. Um, if since they're broken and don't light up, maybe she decided to put them out of the way. If she wanted them out of the way. But there are many other places to store them. Hmm, it's like the old saying, hey, the salt and the sugar bag. I think the same goes had a tree in the forest. If Delicia intended to use these lavender decoration during the contest, it would create a contradiction with that piece of evidence. Okay, so that's the, uh, so that's what you have to do. Uh, so we do like this, and, uh, like this. Eureka. Detective Bat, please read the contest leaflet. Any decorations not made from desserts are prohibited. Huh. These rock salt lamps and the fluorescent cloths go clothes go against the rules. So maybe that's why they were hidden in the castle. I wonder about that. I think we should investigate further to the Lysias actions. It looks like both of the pillars are broken. Both the light bulbs are broken. Maybe they were dropped on the floor. There's some sort of red stain on this lamp's surface. Just stain. Could it be? That smell. There's no mistaking it. It's blood stain. Ah! That's, that, that's blood stain? Why is there blood stain on this lamp? I wonder if this has something to do with the lamp bulb being broken. We can also take a look at the other lamp here. Okay. Using decorations that are, were against the rules and making a fake desserts. A lot of delicious actions seem suspicious. Yeah, it doesn't seem like she's aiming to be the new world's greatest pastry chef. And also, the temperature of the room is very high, way too high. Is there a reason for that? I wonder. I think we should ask Delicia directly. Let's see if these, these two connect. Maybe. There is evidence that the victim was beaten to death with a blunt object. What's more, there's a blood stain on one of the broken rock salt lamps. Could this lamp have been the murder weapon? You're right! It could have been used as a murder weapon. Lavi. There's a blood analyst on this rock salt lamp finish. Yes, sir. It's finished just a few moments ago. The blood stain on that lamp belonged to the victim. You heard what he said. The murder weapon has hi hidden was hidden in Delicia's room. We need to consider her as one of the suspects as well. Why is the room temperature set to 68 Fahrenheit? Why 
Oh, the cold temperature doesn't agree with me. Blood is bad for the body. This figure doesn't maintain itself, you know. Naturally, as a lady, I want to look young forever. <clears throat> hmm, I wonder, how old is Mr. Mr. Delicious really is? <laughs> Raymond, a true gentleman never asks a woman her age. This room is mainly filled with cream. And 50 Fahrenheit is the recommended temperature for preserving fresh cream. What? Really? Now that's all going to waste! It looks like Miss Delicious didn't know. <laughs> I thought she was supposed to be a first class pastry chef. The fake desserts and the violent rules violations. And now her basic lack of knowledge. Lack of basic knowledge. It looks like she keeps many secrets. Delicious knowledge in the art of dessert making is lacking in fundamental areas. And she claims she went into Mr. Marshall's room in order to study his desserts. These actions and ideas are not fitting of someone aiming to the world to be the world's greatest pastry chef. Yeah, they don't sound like the world's words of a pro. It's like she doesn't even realize it, or or maybe she isn't a real pastry chef. Perhaps she had some she had some other intention. It's possible that she didn't go into the room to study desserts. And so then, are you saying Miss Delicious is a criminal? We can't say that for sure yet. <clears throat> but I know she's hiding something from us. That's enough investigating. Hmm. We found out much more than I expected. <clears throat> and yet, something from the before still bothers me. Prosecutor from Carlo must have found the murder weapon in this room. So then, why didn't he, did he let Delicia be? Firstly, I must, must ascertain must from Carlo's true motives. Detective Bad, I'd like to ask Prosecutor von Karma something. I was a business with him. And Delicia here, there too. Oh! What's the idea, buddy? Don't glare at me like that. And I changed the way she speaks again. I just can't decide. Bleh. It seems that Detective Bat also has his doubt about Delicia and from Karma. Delicia, will you come with us for a moment? You see, that's fine. What for? We have to find from Karma. There are some things we need to talk about. Process of Kuta from Karma, we need to talk about the case. <laughs> from the looks of your face, I assume you found the murder weapon? Yes. We discovered the murder weapon in Delicia's room. It would seem Mr. Master isn't the only suspect in this case. Pah! That's not true. Where the murder weapon was found does not change the fact that Master is a culprit. As long as I am here. Why is this von Karma so sure of himself? Well then, aren't you going to explain? Why the murder weapon was in Delicia's room? <laughs> Natural. If you wish to know, I'll tell you. In order to pin the crime on Delicia, the master used the rock salt lamp to kill the victim. He then deposited a murder weapon in Delicia's room. If he had left the murder weapon at the crime scene, the master would have been the one to suspect it. He couldn't move the body, but it was easy to move. Ergo, there will be no evidence pointing to a specific culprit at this time crime scene. Master took the rock salt lamp. Precisely. 
I carried out the investigation myself. There can be no room for doubt. Do you have evidence that he moved it? <laughs> that will not be necessary. What? <laughs> if you have an objection, say it. Do you think that a mere defense attorney can break my logic? doesn't light up. Hmm, that's a shame. It appears to be broken. Yeah? Hmm, no, I really want to see it light up. I want to experience the common world too. Ugh. Ugh. A vivid bloodstain was left behind. I can't believe the murder weapon came from the inside the candy castle. Rain, it is too if it's too difficult, you don't have to look at it. I'm fine. I'm just going to be, I'm going to become a lawyer that's wrong. <laughs> I see. You have a promising future. I don't have any idea where to go, so I'll miss everything. Is it the rock salt lamp from Delicia's room? Exactly. In order to kill Dover, he would prepare the murder weapon beforehand. But the murder weapon was found in Delicia's room. Doesn't that place a suspicion on Delicia too? <coughs> I'm not finished. Master killed Dover. So, the murder weapon was the rock salt lamp hidden inside a candy castle. <laughs> I discovered the murder weapon when I entered the castle. Be thankful, defense attorney, that you came to this information. But, that, be thankful that you came to came by this information. Why was it necessary for you to enter the castle? Nah, maybe it's interested in candy castles. <laughs> what, you? Do you think I went in there because I wanted to? The detectives at the scene were useless, so I had to investigate myself. I wasn't in charge of the in, in, wasn't in charge of the initial investigation. Detective Van joined the investigation halfway through. A certain work ethic is required if you are to gain my trust. This flagrant waste of time is a flagrant waste of time. I will continue. Ooh. Wouldn't the body I left behind in this room also cause suspicion? <clears throat> Moreover, I have a favorite saying I'd like to share with you. Even dogs can wait. Wait until I've finished. That's exactly what I'd like to say to you. Ooh. I would say that Master removed the murder weapon and hid the body in the chest. He believed that if he hid it, if he hid it in his own work, he would not be discovered. Whoa, so savory! Don't you mean so sorry? Don't you mean so sorry? She shows no sign of remorse. He moved the murder weapon and left the body at the scene. God, it's so... Bleh. Ah. Hmm. How can you conclude that Mr. The Master is a killer without any evidence? 
you think that will shake me? You disappoint me. As long as you have. the body was found in the master's room, he is a prime suspect. Protection. Is there really no evidence pointing to anyone else at the crime scene? Surely there's room for further investigation. Inter Another investigation is not necessary. Master must be the killer. If you think differently, seize this pointless word and speak with evidence. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, Manfred does have a deep voice, which is why I'm trying to make it deep, but it's hard. I mean, I can make it deeper, but that takes a toll. So the question is, which one of the evidence do I put on where, because, <clears throat> I mean, the, uh, the things are like a violation of the rules. Okay, that makes no sense. Like, I mean, if you had left the this sentence makes absolutely no sense. I mean, how would this be like it's a rock salt lamp? It's a lamp, it's a lamp. How it makes sense for like I mean, she is the one who's using the uh, rock salt lamp. So if you want to incriminate her, just leave it in your room, you know?
actually got a bit kind of like not sure which one to put it on. Just this sentence here doesn't make sense. Yeah, so the question is do I do the contest rules or do I make the uh Found a chest of chocolate, the heart blow to the head by a blocked object. Circumstance of clear. Uh, gonna be finishing this bar section today so I think I'm gonna call it here because I need to go to the toilet and some other things like actually just need to go to the toilet and I think it's a good time to stop then uh, <clears throat> so uh, it is okay I will I'm gonna okay I'm gonna finish it then if it's the last this is the last part uh, I can't drink any more, Dre. It's a bit too much. Uh, so let's finish this up. This is the last part. God, it's so much. Sorry for being such a... Uh, such a... Uh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Take a sip, this is what it hurts him though. Um, <laughs> that is fine, kids. Still though, I'm not quite sure where to go with this one. Um, The only thing that's out of this place with this one is uh, presented. Uh, this is there's nothing wrong with this statement. Uh, no evidence pointing specific falsehood. I mean, there is this cloth here, though. This here cloth, but it's not like it needed to to light up, didn't it? Uh, 
guess not. It is true that the murder weapon and a bloodstain has disappeared from the victim. Vicinity? Jesus. I don't know how it works either, but... However, there is still one piece of incriminating evidence left behind. Have a look at this photograph, which was taken when the body was first discovered. This cloth was used to wrap the body. Does it remind you of the fluorescent cloth from the delicious room? Look, my fluorescent cloth was at the crime scene. <laughs> fluorescent cloth? Phew. Just what part of this cloth is fluorescent? Hmm, I guess Stone Karma doesn't know about this cloth secret. It looks like a normal cloth at first glance, but he used this rainbow light device. We can make it glow. Hmm, Frosty from Karma seems a little surprised. I don't think the, it was the cloth's ability to glow that surprised him. One sheet of this fluorescent cloth is currently unaccounted for. Now, I'd like you to take a look at the color of the cloth in this photo. Don't you think it looks like the color of the fluorescent cloth before it's lit up? Both the rock salt lamp and the fluorescent cloth originally belonged to Delicia. Wouldn't it be natural to assume that this cloth was used to wrap the body? Prosecutor von Karma. I believe the present conditions give us much more reason to suspect Delicia. What? Hold it, Reggie. Do you really suspect me? I don't yet know if you are the culprit, but it is true that you're hiding something. Am I right? Alright, Dre, thank you for dropping by. Oh god, so you all want me to... I just... Uh, that's... So, you're saying that the murder weapon or the cloth were originally from Delicia's room? Yes. What's so funny? Just as expect from you. The murder weapon and the cloth are not from her room. How unfortunate for you. What does he mean? Before the contest began, the master visited noticed her violation of rules. He confiscated the cloth and the rock salt lamp and kept them in his room for safety. What? The victim was not seen, as he stayed locked up in his room after, until, uh, after the contest had begun. The only ones who could have unlocked the room the rooms was Jeff Master. And the murder weapon, the rock salt lamp, was being kept in Master's room. You just made that up! Fashioned with decisive evidence and proving Master's guilt. Defense attorney. You have lost to me before you even had a chance to stand in the court. What's this? What is this? What? What? It's all an investigation for nothing. Mr. Delicious, why don't you tell us about your confiscated items? Huh? Well, uh, Manny said I'd look suspicious if I did. Prosecutor on karma. And it's true, you all suspect me, don't you? <laughs> How clumsy of you, defense attorney. From Karma. So that's why he let us investigate Delicia's room. And in the clumsiness, there's only one more thing I need to inform you. Two sets of fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Two? Yes. They belong to Jeff Master and Delicia Scopes. No other fingerprints were found. After Master killed Dover with the confiscated rock salt lamp, he foolishly concealed the mold in bearing his own fingerprints in his own room. I don't even need to prove my case in court. I have more than the perfect evidence to prove Master's Protection. Hold it. I still have some doubts about the fluorescent cloth found in Master's room. Bah! Irrelevant. 
After disposing of the body, he intends to return it to Delicia's room. Yeah. I don't have enough information to refute Mokama's reason. <laughs> Nothing left to say. If your job is done, then leave this place. Mm, that's... Can't keep up yet. We haven't wasted enough time as is. But take them away. There are still some doubts left in our investigation. Detective Bat. What's the meaning of this? It's not my nature to leave any doubts behind. There are st still one piece of evidence that's yet to be identified. That's right. There are still traces. The traces someone left behind. Bah! Talk about your doubts as much as you want later. But this, my dear attorney, is none of your business. Protection. No, I also have some doubts about one piece of evidence. It's likely that I have the same doubts Mr. Detective Bad has. What? This one. Oh, come on. Take that. Take that. Someone left, left gloved finger marks on Mr. Master's desserts. If the desserts were the killer's finger marks, then it's possible the killer also didn't leave any fingerprints on a murder weapon. How did you know the state of the crime scene? I gave them permission to investigate. But what possessed you to let a defense attorney into a crime scene? I recall you telling me not to let them in. Ah, oh, such impotence! You'd best remember that your salary review depends on me. <laughs> oh, the poor detectives don't get a break. In lieu of gumshoe, the bad is that poor man out. Oh my god. This isn't good for bad. I'm so glad I have a kind boss like my Edgeworth. Your salary review, review depends on how you perform here. <laughs> I'm surprised what a mere attorney like you would manage to cover in such a short time. However, it is possible those fingerprints were monsters of the Because he was always worried those gloves went cooking. Protection. Do you have evidence that those fingerprints were left by a master? And moreover, there are a few points of suspicion surrounding the lair of the Lysia. Oh, you still haven't given up on that. Oh, Reggie, you still suspect me! I've already apologized for stealing a few bites. I don't want to suspect you. However, I can't easily trust those who tell lies. You must still be hiding something. Oh, Reggie's a bully! Don't you know the temperature? Uh, don't you know the temperature fresh cream must be kept at? You, yourself, you call yourself a dessert chef, but you lack even the most basic knowledge. Oh, I'm sorry for my, la for my lack of knowledge. In your case, is that even the lack of knowledge? In truth, you don't even know how to make desserts, do you? <laughs> Defense attorney, stop trying to force your own reasoning. In a court of law, the evidence tells all. If you say the witness is lying, show it with evidence. We're not in court yet, but very well. Oh my god, my ear itches again and it's annoying me. The only things Delicia made were the, those that broke the rules. The lamp and the cloth that broke the rules were being held in Master's room. There's no way the witness could have returned them to her room. Protection. Those were not the only fed desserts she, she made. What? Her desserts may look like something out of a fairy tale at first glance, but in reality they are nothing but mannequins decorated with cream. Apart from the cream, they're all fake. 
This is not something one aiming to become the greatest, world's greatest cha pastry chef would do. Is this true, Bat? Yes, my shoes can attest to that. Hmm, well, lack me enough to pro convince Prasik to become Karma. Once he sees what Delicia has done, he'll have no choice but to be convinced. Delicia, the fact that you, your actions could lead you to being a suspect is no laughing matter. But that's so, I didn't murder. Is it time you told the host the whole truth? Who are you? And why were you indulging yourself on another contestant's work? Yes, see, I understand. The truth is, I'm not really a dessert chef. I'd like that led you to believe. I'm actually a pharmacist. What? A pharmacist? That's a completely different occupation. It's no wonder he couldn't hide his surprise. Why is a pharmacist like you participating in this contest? I just love eating desserts. I joined because I thought I'd be able to eat some of Jeffy's desserts. I never thought I'd end up making it to the finals. Possibly when karma is a bit of loss of words. And so that's the real reason you intend to cost us. Contest. You see, as expected, Jeffy's desserts were all so good. So, the blood finger marks in the, on the picture that you were doing? Oh, no way! I have never wore gloves! Delicious fingerprints were found in Master's chocolates. So, it is true that she wasn't wearing gloves. Yes, see, exactly. Do you believe me, Greg? You believe me? You do believe me, Greg? His face stuck with nothing but desserts. Oh, sorry, Manny. I think it's with your belly that stopped. When Master's desserts all that you ate? You actually, no. After the afternoon tea, I also ate Icy's desserts. You mean you entered the victim's room? Yes, see, exactly. The room was empty after all. Perhaps the victim was already dead by then. But my first bit tasted way too salty and I couldn't eat it. So I ate the delicious star shaped dessert that was nearby. Mm, delicious. You really are a glutton. It is rare for you to see a woman with this kind of appetite. That is all I did. Greggy, Manny, everyone, I'm sorry I caused you so much trouble. Now that you've told us the truth, everything is fine. There's no need to apologize. This doesn't mean that your testimony is trustworthy. I'll be investigating the victim's room after this. Only then will I decide if your testimony is true. Prosecutor and Karma, I'd like to go as well. I also need to ascertain whether my reasoning up until now has been correct. <laughs> I'll let you fall. But I have no intention of letting him investigate. That is enough for me. <laughs> this is... What is the meaning of this? Adorning the victim's room and disappearing without trace. Was it the true killer's doing? A body was hidden inside the dessert, and a murder weapon was found that was moved. Further investigation would be required to arrive at the truth of this case. Okay. That was weird. Okay then, so that concludes today's stream. We're a little bit overdue, but we're just gonna have to deal with that. So, uh, oh, we have to deal with more Man for Golden Karma in this case. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Why are we, do we have to deal with Man for Golden Karma, you know? Oh, I don't want to deal with Man for Golden Karma. So, um, with that out of the way, we don't have much else to do today. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching today. 
Uh, let's see, we have some... I would like to once again thank Bello for the resub. That is very much appreciated. And we have all that done out of the way. It likes me make funny names. I suppose it does. So, uh, I don't see anyone online that is streaming that I can raid. Of a budget monk, but he's playing E4. And uh, I said I'm not playing E4, I'm going to be raiding budget monk. So, uh, I guess we're just going to call it here then. Let's see here. Put this all the way down. Yeah, nothing else going on here. So, we're going to be continuing this on Wednesday after all. And you said this as part this this one has nine sections picks. And if we do if we manage to do two parts, uh like two parts for, for each sec uh, each time, uh we're gonna be doing this case for one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, about uh, three to four streams, maybe five streams. So yeah, it's gonna be taking a while. So <laughs> let me just think. Um, so yeah, uh, tune in for Wednesday for more Ace Attorney. I will see if I can get everything up on YouTube uh, as fast as possible. I have been very bad at putting my archive up, especially Ace Attorney. Uh, I want to see if I can do that as fast as possible. Hopefully I'll be able to set the uh, recording for today on rendering tomorrow. Poco Society, ah, <laughs> Multitasking. So. I'd like to thank you for watching once again. I've said it again once before, but I'm going to stop here right now. So let's get put on some music and uh, call it for today. I hope you all have a good evening or a good afternoon. And until uh, Wednesday, take care, everyone. I'm just going to find a good song to play. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Let's find a good song to play. Come on. Come on. It's being slow. There we go. Good night.